Hey everybody, Christopher Brett here, coming to you today with a discussion on music, depression, stress, and anxiety. Now, this doesn't sound like a very fun topic, but I thought it would be a good one for a podcast because I feel the subject of depression is an important one, especially among artistic people. And I'm thinking today as I'm driving along, why are musicians and artistic people more prone to depression than others? So that's the subject I want to get into today. And I'm not trying to say that, obviously, other walks of life are not prone to depression. Pretty much every profession and every personality has to deal with depression. Obviously, I know that. And depression affects all cultures and all types of people. I know that. Um, I feel like there is something, though, that is there that makes artistic people more prone to depression. And that's what I want to try to tap into here. Um, so I did some research and what I found in the research confirmed what I was kind of already thinking. And there's no definitive answer, of course, to everything here. These are just ideas and theories that I have. And I'm certainly welcome to others' comments and others' ideas um, about this. Uh, but I think if we get into the whole subject and we try to tap into a few areas, the first area that comes into my mind is the area of sensitivity. Um, in order to deliver something emotionally in music or art, you have to obviously have some sense of sensitivity. And I think being a sensitive person can definitely make you a little more prone to suffering from depression and anxiety to some extent. Um, another one is the rocky road that comes with the artistic life. Sometimes you can be doing quite well financially, for instance, and other times you cannot be doing well financially. And that instability can sometimes make certain people prone to anxiety. So that's another factor. And when you combine the emotional element into the financial element, that can certainly lead to a rocky road. Uh, maybe some things that happen in childhood can certainly add to it, right? So if you mix all of these elements together, you end up with quite a dynamic situation. Uh, some other areas that come to mind are just the egocentric aspects of being an artistic person. This can happen even if you are a humble person. I'd like to think I'm humble. Um, but when you kind of get into a place where you're expressing your individuality through art and maybe somebody else criticizes you or says something rude or gives you some type of constructive criticism that you might not agree with, it can be very difficult. There's an ego clash and you can get selfish and that can perhaps lead to some elements of anxiety in some way. Um, these are just theories, ideas that just come to mind. I don't know if I'm necessarily, you know, definitively positive on every one of these things here. I'm just throwing the ideas out there as food for thought. Um, I think, you know, depression and anxiety within many musicians, it's a combination of these factors coming together. Um, when it comes to the childhood thing, certain childhood things obviously uh, happened in worse ways for other people. Uh, you know, not everybody had the same childhood. My childhood was very good. Um, and I know a lot of my artistic friends did not have a good childhood. So, you know, they might be dealing with some different things along the way. So uh, I think the number one thing, though, um, if I had to kind of pick a number one element here, it would be just the sensitivity thing. You know, um, I am a a sensitive person to a lot of things and that can open doors or trigger temptations to be hopeless at times and I know that's not the right thing to do but it's a very strong temptation and that's where I suffer in that area and I of course ask God to help me and to heal me and I have gotten some therapy and um, asked others in the community to help me and to support me and I think that's a great way to treat depression and uh, it's certainly not some, this is not only, you know, stuff that affects current musicians or uh, people in the commercial music industry. It 
has affected musicians all throughout history. Um, Beethoven and Mozart, I think, definitely suffered from depression. Beethoven with the deafness, and he's he wrote about it in, in letters and testaments. Some of the things he was dealing with, there was obviously an element of depression. You can even hear it in the music at times. Uh, Mozart, whose music at times is very peppy and, and happy, you could say, uh, in a simpli sim simplistic character there. I'm, I'm kind of simplifying his music. It, uh, obviously, it's not just that, but Mozart's music is quite peppy and happy, but I think he was dealing with actually a lot of darkness um, beneath that. And sometimes that darkness is actually expressed in Mozart's music. And it's really cool when it does. Um, but uh, he, I think, had a drinking issue to some extent. Uh, Mozart did. Um, you, you just go out through history. I think um, uh, Chopin had some, you know, melancholic issues. I think um, Rachmaninoff certainly did. Uh, Franz Liszt had some depression uh, issues that he was writing about towards the end of his life. So it it happens. It's a big part of being a musician, and sometimes you could say, hey, it's what makes us cool, right? Um, <laughs> so that's one way to look at it. But yes, it's certainly something that's not new to music or new to mankind. So my take on it is that we need healing, we need God to help us fight this, and we need therapy we need the community. We need all these things to come together to help us. And if you're suffering from depression, talk about it. I find that's the best way to, to deal with it. Um, talk about it, pray about it, and seek help from the community. That's one way to go about it. And I wish others would have done that who are suffering. Like, um, just go into the 1990s, my one of my favorite decades. With Kurt Cobain taking his own life, another... A uh, name that comes to mind is Alice in Chains. Um, Lane Staley, the singer with uh, the heroin issue and everything. I mean, the list goes on, you know. Um, Robin Williams, that uh, was one that really shook me. That just got me really down for a while because he was one of my favorite actors. And I was just so down when I found out that he you know, took his life and everything. So I'm always praying for people who are suffering through this and those who've gone before us that have dealt with this. So it's an important subject and it's good to be aware of these things so you can fight against it, you know, if you're dealing with it or to treat this. So um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like. Uh, visit my website at www www.christopherbrent.com and if you have any uh, questions or comments feel free to leave them and I am going to sign off so have a wonderful day